Google the words famous dog. And the first image you'll see is a bright eyed pug with his tongue sticking out. I'm Leslie. And I'm Rob. And this is Doug the Pug. We are interrupting his mid afternoon nap, so if you hear his little snores, that's what the noise is. This all started in the year 2014. I always wanted a pug named Doug ever since I was a little girl. It just felt like the best name you could ever name a pug, in my opinion. And when I moved to Nashville, Tennessee to go to college, I felt like it was finally time for me to get my dream dog. From the moment that I brought him home, he sat in front of the TV and watched the Kardashians on repeat. And I was like, this is my brand new puppy watching the Kardashians, like super intently. From that moment on, I knew that he was really interested in consuming and absorbing pop culture. Doug loved being dressed up. He'd wag his tail when I was about to put on a shirt and he would lift his paw, trying to get his paw into the shirt. Whenever there was a camera in front of Doug, it was like he had to be on and he would sit there and pose. He's just a little diva, craving attention all the time. And if you don't give him attention, he demands it. So I started getting pretty creative with him around Nashville and taking him to different parks or you know, putting him on a skateboard and dressing him like a skater pug. And it became this thing that I really looked forward to after work. I started posting Doug on my personal Instagram account and immediately I realized that people did not really care about seeing me. They wanted to only see Dougie. And it was actually Rob here who I had just started dating at the time he was the person who was like, you should just make Doug his own Instagram account. So we started Doug's Instagram. People started liking it, following the account, and all these like pugs of Instagram would repost Doug's photos, and it just kind of took off really, really quickly. When Doug hit 100,000 on Instagram, we were so ecstatic and threw a 100,000 party and invited all of our friends. The next day, I was trying to think of a funny post for Doug's account. And I thought, oh my gosh, I have these pug balloons. I might as well do something with these. I tied the balloon around Doug's little waist and just filmed him running around the park, just being his crazy self. I edited it up, I sent it over to her, posted it, and... I woke up the next morning and the video had 20 million views on Facebook. This is where things started to get crazy. All of a sudden, we started getting hit up by Good Morning America, BuzzFeed. We ended up taking this little guy to New York City. We had meetings all day. Doug loved going to all of the press offices and would just cause mayhem. We just let him off the leash and he'd just run around <laughs> and go to people's cubicles and he'd jump on the table and it would just be this like moment of pandemonium but everyone was so happy. Doug got a book deal shortly after that New York City trip, and that book ended up being on the New York Times bestseller list. Celebrities started following Doug and started inviting him to their concerts. Doug got to meet Justin Bieber, Billie Eilish, Katy Perry. You know, you see them on camera, and the moment that they meet Doug, they get to just be a normal person, and it's obvious that they miss their yeah. dogs, and it Doug brings a really happy moment for celebrities. David Dobrik said that Doug the Pug is his internet crush. We just so happened to be in Chicago and I get a DM from David like, oh my God, come to my show tonight. So he took him out on stage and like danced with him and the crowd went crazy. Doug had a role in the Katy Perry music video for Swish Swish. We literally got an email one night and they were like, can you be in LA in two days? That was a crazy experience. Doug got to meet Kobe the Cat in San Francisco and they had a great time. Shakira flew us all to Barcelona just to meet Doug. We were hanging out in her backyard and all of a sudden Doug saw that one of the doors was open and he decided to sprint into that door and run into her house, running from room to room. He wouldn't let us catch him, he was so excited and luckily Shakira was very kind and thought it was hilarious. One of the fun business sides of Doug the Pug is that we've gotten really into the licensing world and now Doug has dozens upon dozens of stuffed animals that are modeled exactly after him and what he wears. He's the happiest guy ever, living the He's life. He's treated like gold. At the end of the day, our mission is to bring joy and spread love and spread happiness through Doug. We've been working very hard on the Doug the Pug Foundation. We'll be helping kids with childhood cancer and other life-threatening illnesses and use the donations to help kids and their families who need it the most. 
We feel so grateful and so fortunate that we are able to make a living. We like to think of Doug as a bright spot on the internet that can sometimes be a dark place. And with the world right now and how stressful everything is, I think we can all look to Doug and his cute little face to bring some joy and Doug is happy to oblige. Oh yeah.